Okay, so in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, use the uh, uh, platform uh, grading tools. So this is the platform grading tools that you can download from the uh, Tecla Structure Warehouse. So if you have the uh, uh, account in uh, Tecla so, or in Trimble, so you can go to the uh, warehouse and then select or uh, type in uh, greetings and you can see the platform grading tools so once you download it you just install this and <clears throat> you're going to have this uh, uh, component in the application uh, on the right hand side uh, in your techless structures okay so to use this one um, all you have to do of course is open the platform grading tools just double click on it so here as you can see here, you have the uh, standard length. You can change the uh, the the length of the uh, gratings or the width if you have a 1,000 by uh, 1,500. So at the moment, I'm going to use the default uh, value here in the platform grating layout. <clears throat> and then uh, you have also the uh, member boundary edge edge offset. Okay, so there is a offset from uh, one grating to another. Uh, even uh, as you can see here the member boundary position as you can see you have the inside uh, middle or outside so meaning uh, from the uh, from this beam middle meaning the uh, grating will start from the middle of the uh, beam or if you select inside so that one will be inside or outside or the outer part of the beam so we're going to use the middle for the meantime Okay, and then all you have to do is, the first thing to do is to select the outer boundary member. Okay, so once you click on this, so you can now select all the beams on the boundary. So uh, I'll start with this beam, and then this, this, this beam, this one, and this. So you will notice that that uh, I selected the uh, the boundary. If I press Control uh, Five, uh, you can see here that uh, it highlights all the selected beams on the boundary that I want to uh, uh, use. Okay, so Control Four. So now, uh, once you select those boundary beams, okay, so click the middle button of your mouse, and then as you can see here under the outer boundary design so you can see all the beams that you have selected all right now going back to the platform greeting so now i'm going to uh, select the support so here you can see here add support so meaning i can select all the internal uh, beams uh, wherein uh, the uh, the platform or the gratings will will uh, lie or will be laid out okay so Add support. So now I'm going to select uh, one, two, three, four, and then this, and then this one, this one, and this one. And then click middle button of your mouse, and there you go. So you have already uh, selected the support. So meaning, once I hit this create, okay, so the grating will be placed on that boundary and then the support. So let's hit create. Let's see what will happen. Okay, just simply click OK and then hit the create. And as you can see now, so uh, it will be placed on the uh, on the beam that uh, we have selected. Okay, so now um, what if? Okay, let me uh, undo that one and then we try again another uh, way. So what if we're going to? Uh, Let's say we cl we clear all this uh, clear all this uh, selection and then we try again in a different way. Let's say uh, counterclockwise. So select outer boundary member and then here I'm going to select this one, two, three. So this time on the counterclockwise. So let's see what will happen and then middle button of your mouse, add support. So one, two, three, four, five, and then another.
other support here. And then middle button of your mouse and then hit create again. Select OK and then hit create. And as you can see here, the placement of our uh, grating will be on the, uh, on the other way. So uh, it matters if you select the boundary on the clockwise or counterclockwise. All right. Okay, so now uh, let's clear it again, and then let's uh, see the other uh, uh, other example here or uh, other way. So again, select the outer boundary member, and then uh, okay, let's hit it. Uh, let's select again on the clockwise. And then middle button of your mouse. So add support. So this time, this time, I'm going to uh, we're going to uh, add an opening. So middle button of your mouse. So the opening will be under this inner boundary member. So you, I mean, uh, you need to select the inner boundary member if you have an opening in that particular location let's say for example this area and this area will have an opening so i'll select add inner boundary member and then select this one one two three and then four that one is a one beam in sequence and then middle button and then select this one one two three four so that one is the second opening and then middle button of your mouse and then interrupt okay so interrupt so that the uh, platform grating layout will uh, pop up again. And then here you say hit create. Click OK and then create again. So as you notice here, uh, I have an opening to that particular inner boundary member that I have selected. Okay. All right. So again, uh, let's try another uh, exercise, okay, undo, and then clear all these uh, selections here. Okay, this time, uh, okay, this time I'm going to uh, select the boundary only on this part. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Again, let, let me uh, do it again. Select outer, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then middle button of your mouse, and then add support. So the support will be one, two, and three, and then middle button of your mouse. All right, and uh, again, this time um, I'm going to add the inner boundary polygon. So this time it's polygon, so meaning I can just pick any shape. So add inner boundary polygon. So let's say I'm going to pick from this part. One. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then six. And then middle button of your mouse. Okay. And then interrupt. And then hit create. Click OK and create again. So as you notice here, so when I pick that polygon shape, so my uh, my grating will be placed only on that particular area, and then the polygon shape there will be an opening on that part. All right. So uh, that one is how you use the uh, 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 platform grating layout. Okay. So let me just undo this one. Okay. So now. Let us uh, continue with this particular uh, uh, layout of our grating. And then this time, I'm going to use this uh, top plate along line. So what is this top plate along line? So this one is if you want to add a top plate. So here, all you have to do is just double click on this. And then as you notice here, uh, you can see you can uh, change the, uh, the height of the top plate. Okay, so here the top plate properties, as you can see here, plate 6 by 1 to 5, you can change that one. You have the material and then the dimensions, so the uh, the offset, so everything are there. You, all you have to do is to key in all this value, apply, and then if you notice here, you have to pick start point online. So let's say this is my start point, 1, 
and then this is the endpoint two. And then select all those uh, gratings that uh, need to have this top plate. So meaning this one, two, and then three, and then middle bottom of your mouse. And then you have the top plate there. Okay, so meaning if I have the top plate from this point to this point, so I have to select all these rating and then middle button of your mouse and then you're going to have the top plate there. Okay, so now what if there is an opening? So let's say for example here, I have the uh, an equipment, a circular equipment here coming here. And then I want to use this top plate around circle. So all I have to do is uh, open again this, uh, we need to open the top plates around circle and then specify the radius of the circle that you want to use. Okay, so let's say uh, we put here 250 as the, uh, the radius. Okay, so again, the same properties that I'm going to use, apply and then here, pick the center of the circle point. So if you notice here, uh, between these four gratings, I'm going to put the, the circle. So I just pick any any point here. If you want to make it at the center, then you, you must put a uh, construction point here. But uh, since I don't have it, so I'll just simply pick any end point here. Okay. And then select the grating plate. So one, two, three, four, and then middle bottom of your mouse. And there you go. So you have now this uh, circle or uh, toe plates around circle, okay? And this one is, you can change also the uh, the angles of the plate if you want. If you type here 90, then meaning uh, that 90 degree here, uh, it will remove the circle. If you type here 180, so there will be no uh, plates on that particular 180 degree okay so if you put it blank so meaning there will be a full uh, plates around this circle okay and another uh, thing here is the toe plate uh, around member so meaning if I have a uh, if I have a member here let's say for example I'm going to use a, uh, a steel here steel member here so let's say I'm going to move it 1000 all right so all you have to do is to select again go to this uh, toe plate around member so again I'm going to use the uh, the default uh, value by the system so apply so pick the main member so the column is the main member and then select the grating plate so these two grating plates and then middle bottom of your mouse and then you're going to see that there will be a cut there now what if i change this one to circular so let's say uh, pd 500 by uh, uh, 10 so modify so as you notice here immediately it will change to the uh, circular plate here which is quite good all right, and uh, lastly is the polygon uh, toe plates around polygon. So again, here uh, same uh, same settings that I'm going to use apply, and then let's see polygon opening. So meaning I need to uh, select a polygon opening here. So any shape. So one, let's say two, uh, three, four five and then middle bottom of your mouse and then one two three four and then again middle bottom of your mouse and there you go so you have now the uh, polygon uh, shape and then there will be a toe plate for that particular polygon shape all right so uh, that's how you use the uh, uh, platform grating tools uh, in tecla structure Thank you.